Hello everybody, welcome back. And in this video, we're gonna talk about dynamic caching for GPU. Apple announced it on their Scary Fast event. So let's dive in. So what is dynamic caching? It is a feature introduced by Apple in their latest M3 chips. The M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max. Unlike traditional GPUs, the M3 uses dynamic caching to allocate the use of local memory in real time. This ensures that the precise amount of memory required is spent on a particular task, meaning none is going to waste. Apple calls this the cornerstone of new GPU architecture, and it claims it dramatically increases the average utilization of the GPU. This feature results in significant performance improvements when using the most demanding apps and games. It's available on all machines running the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max processors. As for examples, consider a scenario where a GPU is executing a program with a large number of shaders. In traditional GPUs, there are often a dip of utilization, while more shaders are sent to be executed in threads. With dynamic caching, this process could potentially be more efficient as it ensures that the only exact amount of memory needed is used for each task. This could lead to more consistent utilization and improved performance. However, the exact workings of dynamic caching are part of Apple's proprietary technology and aren't fully disclosed. And that's dynamic caching. If you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I hope this helps you. This has been D from DLL TV. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.